Well, Takashi's facing some serious charges. Meek Mill's album came out. And to our surprise, uh, Meek Mill, uh, d he didn't diss Takashi, so let's leave Meek Mill out of this. And Meek Mill is actually was very uplifting on big boy TV, saying, like, I think he's a good kid with the bad influences, you know? He just, he should have, he got in trolling and he should have dialed it back a bit. But Jay-Z and Rick Ross team up. Like, we did the Rick Ross thing, but when you really examine uh, Jay-Z's verse, he's going at him too. And it's like, yo, bro, what the hell's going on here? Like, you guys are really concerned about this kid? <laughs> like, come on. It's Jordan Dow with JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. We got QB Rap P with a new album, Street Cinema, links below. He also got two new videos, one in a wake up in life. All links below, Street Cinema, QB Rap P, out now. Look what we got here, okay? So we got Jay-Z dissing this kid too. And, um, you know, Rick Ross making fun of someone for getting Rico charges. That's not too gangster much, you know? Let's be honest, okay? And I'm not even, this guy's claiming to be from the streets. I'm just a, I'm just a guy that, you know, I have uh, done some videos for people there, but like, if you living street morals and principles, you don't make fun of somebody for getting the Rico, right? You don't. That's not gangster, right? It's not gangster, as quotes I'm saying, you know, like, I think it's funny because uh, it's just, he said, screaming gang gang, now you want to rat, okay? Nobody said he's ratting, okay? Uh, and plus, if anybody knows about Fed Time, which Rick Ross should, because some of his people have gotten Fed Time before that he knew, uh, it's not ratting always, it's sometimes it's just cooperating, owning your charges. I mean, let Blue Da Vinci tell you, he had to cooperate by owning his own charges to get points reduced, to get, you know, some time shaved off. But all you're doing is not going to trial, you're owning the charges, which probably, you know, it saves the feds money for fighting the case and everything, so you get a little bit of time off. Um, then he said racketeering charges caught him on a tap. But they didn't really catch him on the tap. They really tapped Mel Matrix in them. So he's actually also making fun of Mel Matrix and uh, Shadi and all them. He's ca he's making fun of some guys that were doing things he's never done uh, because he's living Freeway Ricky Ross's life. Uh, while well, he's rapping about Freeway Ricky Ross's life. Uh, and he says, looking for a bond, lawyers want a tax. Purple hair got them, and then he said, faggots on your back. It's like, whoa, okay. So, all right, so then uh, Jay-Z, he talks about billboard numbers. Now, this is all Jay-Z cares about is billboard numbers, even being a billionaire, because it's, it's, uh, it keeps other businesses flourishing for him. So he says, uh, I ain't got a billion streams, but I got a billion dollars. Absolutely, okay. Businessman to the core, okay. Uh, Jay Z's very smart, okay. Then he says, uh, so so he says, and then people stole the uh, stole the soul and hit dudes with three sixties. He's talking about Lear Cohen, so he's dissing Lear Cohen, okay, because in Lear Cohen, they're still like friends, right? But he's dissing them because Lear Cohen invented the three sixty. Okay, this is where they take a piece of your merch, take a piece of your shows and everything. Um, and let's not, all this 444 stuff, let's not forget that Jay-Z was a part of gentrifying downtown Brooklyn with the Barclays Center, okay? As much as I love Jay-Z, love what he stands for, you can't, when you take people's, uh, you know, woke verses, you also have to calculate in, and I'm not saying I'm an angel, Okay, but I'm just saying, you know, because like, you know, I'm, I'm just saying Jay-Z helped gentrify down, downtown Brooklyn, right? This is where it was pushing people out and, you know, making room for the hippies, hipsters to come in around Barclays. Remember, he owned a piece of the Nets and then fell back. It helped gentrify downtown Brooklyn. And don't get me wrong. I, I love everything. I love most of what Jay-Z does. I mean, you know, he's inspiring, right? Then he says inflating numbers like we're supposed to be happy about this. Title inflates their numbers. They've been called out for this, okay? I didn't call them out. Some other company called them out in Europe, okay? We praise in Billboard, but we were young. Now I look at Billboard like, is you dumb? So it's like, okay, I get, in a way it's advice, right? So he's like looking at, because uh, all Takashi would say is like, yo, 
number one on Billboard. In fact, he's going to be number one on Billboard next week, as we assumed. He has uh, one of the best albums out right now as far as uh, turn-up music. Obviously, Meek Mill's album is better lyrically. You go in there for some lyrics. Meek Mill's talking about that shit in there. He's talking about justice reform. Salute to Meek Mill. Okay. Then he says, uh, now I look at, at Billboard like, is you dumb to this day, Grandma? Afraid what I might say. They're going to have to kill me, Grandma. I'm not their slave. <laughs> now, Jay-Z always does a deal for his albums. Uh, he did a deal with Heineken back in the day where he goes platinum the first week. They buy the albums, right? does a deal with and this is smart don't get me wrong i'm not downplaying it for this i did a deal with samsung where it came on the samsung phone did a million albums the first week the last album sprint bought into title and part of the deal was they bought a million albums so he went platinum it's just facts man anyways guys what do you think about him dissing takashi i think it's a little spooky it's jordan tower jt news hit that thumbs up button i'll check you guys later we got QB Rap P with a new album, Street Cinema, links below. He also got two new videos, one in a wake up in life. All links below, Street Cinema, QB Rap P, out now. I'm back, man. I put the picture in the frame. Everything I had, I gave away.